Hello! The video you are about to see contains images of dolls only. Hello! 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 Now look, we're both feeding today mm. and it's not the twins. So, you've got the easy one, Mr. B. Who yes. are you feeding today? I've got Angel today. You've got Angel today, and uh, she can be a bit of a fussy fussy, so just uh, you watch her. Yes. How's she doing? Uh, very well at the moment. We've been here for a minute or two, mm -hmm. and uh, everything seems to be going well. Yeah, and she is wearing her stripy leggings and her top. You can't see it because it's got a bib on, but it's got a... Um, a big old sun on the front and it says you are my sunshine and Harry is wearing um, his outfit that I put him into yesterday his denim dungarees and his uh, grey blue t-shirt <coughs> and he's got a bib with I and a love heart and mummy on it and Angel's wearing um, a, a bib with um, white bib I think it is with pink, pink stripes around the edge so they're all lovely and gorgeous and sucking away here. I We had the twins feeding yesterday and, um, uh, not yesterday, last week. <laughs> last week when I was doing a feed, when we were doing the feed video. And it does sound funny to hear the two of them going at it together. But um, well, that's what happens when we feed both at the same time, isn't that's it? That's right, Be yes. Yes. So, oh, you're so cute. Harry's kind of still... Harper. He loves to close his eyes when he's having his bottle. Don't you, my darling? Mm. And I love Harry's thick eyelashes. He's so beautiful. And I love the way Angel actually looks as if she's gazing up at you with her beautiful eyes. <laughs> so beautiful. So, now this song that I'm going to sing this week actually isn't a lullaby or a children's song. It's a song I've known for quite a, a few years. But it does have babies in it somewhere. And it's a slightly comedy type of song, and I know that Mr. B likes it. So it's called The Ballad of the Shape of Things. Oh, yes. And let's hope I don't forget the words because it's a while since I've sung it's it. It's a lovely one. <laughs> Completely round is the perfect pearl the oyster manufactures. Completely round is the steering wheel that leads to compound fractures. Completely round is the golden fruit that hangs in the orange tree. Yes, the circle shape is quite renowned, and sad to say it can be found in the dirty low-down run around my true love gave to me. My true love gave to me. A perfect square is the velvet box he said my ring would be in. A perfect square is the envelope he wrote farewell to me in. A perfect square is the handkerchief I flourish constantly. As it dries my eyes from the tears I've shed and blows my nose till it turns bright red. For a perfect square is my true love's head. He will not marry me. No, he will not marry me. Rectangular is the hotel room my true love tried to sneak through. Rectangular is the transom over which I had to peek through. Rectangular is the hotel room I entered angrily. Now rectangular is the wooden box Where lies my love neath the grazing flocks. They said he died of the chicken pox. With that I must agree. One chick too many had he. Triangular is the piece of pie I eat to ease my sorrow. Triangular is the hatchet blade I plan to hide tomorrow. Triangular the relationship that now has ceased to be. And 
the self same shape is the garment thin that fastens on with a safety pin to a prize I never meant to win. It's a lasting memory that my true love gave to me. <laughs> oh, well done for getting through that. <laughs> oh, I do love that. I love it. It's fantastic. <laughs> now, now we have that, and the version I know is by Blossom Deary. Blossom Deary. Blossom Deary. She sings it a million times oh, better no, than I, I ever could. I thought you did it really well. <laughs> I learned from her. I I adore Blossom Deary. She mm. has um, or she had, bless her soul. Uh, a light, feather-light little fairy voice yes. and uh, a wonderful feather-light touch on the piano. And she was a, she was a, a jazz and cabaret singer. Um, and I just absolutely adore her. I have for years and years and years. And she might have sounded like a light little fairy, but she had a an iron hand and a velvet glove by all accounts. Oh, she did. She wouldn't stand for any messing about. Mm. Or, you know, she wouldn't let people think she was a fluffy little woman. No. And well done her, I say. My attorney, Bernie. Oh, that was another lovely that one. That says uh, all of that. Yes. <laughs> Can't do that one, really, without a compliment. No, no, but... Uh... I actually did one night. Um, I was in... Um, uh, there was a kind of a stand-up entertainment thing, and mm. I was asked to, to sing. And what I did was I got people to clap click clap click yeah. clap click to give me some kind of rhythm mm. to, that i could sing to because you really can't do that on a company no. it needs it needs to be in time so um i i got a, a rhythm them to give me a rhythm and then i was able to sing it because mm. i was able to stay fairly in key mm. um and uh so it was, it was okay but it's a difficult song to sing without uh, it's a good one because that that one there is is you can sing it without tempo yeah it's, it's not hard is it baby Mm. How, how are the babies doing? Uh, very good. Yeah, Angel uh, is is going well. Oh, yeah. cool. Because the, the babies don't care what I sing. I know it might sound weird to hear that kind of, of cabaret song when the babies are sucking away here, but they don't care what I sing. They just yeah. like the sound of my voice. Well, Angel uh, has taken all of that to heart <laughs> and, uh, in that song. She says, uh, if anyone gets on the wrong side of me when I grow up, yes, I'll that's just what's going to happen. To them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll tell you a funny song, uh, it's, it's not a funny song, a funny story about singing, B. Mm -hmm. the, the, the time that a Furby told me exactly what it thought of my voice. This was in the 90s, and I was travelling in a car with my then husband and two little girls, and somebody who was driving us. Um, it was their little girls that were in the car with us. And the little girls had a Furby, uh, one of these little electronic pet things, mm. if you don't know what a Furby is. Sure, most people do. And so I was in the back with the little girls and Furby, trying to keep the little girls amused. And they liked my singing. And they said, Auntie Lulu, sing, sing. And I said, what do you want me to sing? And they said, uh, just around the river bend from Pocahontas. So I started to sing. And it's quite a complicated song, especially if you don't have an accompaniment and you're in a moving car um, with Furbies. There were two Furbies, actually. So I had the Furby on my lap. And I was ignoring it, because if you don't interact with these things, they don't like it. So I was ignoring the Furby, and I was singing away, singing my heart out. My voice was a lot better in those days than it is now. So the, the end of the, the, the song is quite dramatic. And so I was giving it my all. Should I choose the smoothest course? Steady as the beating drum. Should I marry Coco on? Is all my dreaming at an end? And the Furby was getting annoyed and it was making little <laughs> noises. So then I went for it. Oh, do you still wait for me, dream giver? And I was about to go really high. Just a run. Boring, said the Furby. <laughs> 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 and of course we all cracked up. It was just so funny. Wonderful. It was, it was faultlessly, perfectly timed. Oh baby, they don't care. They're yeah. just like, mummy, stop making they're, that they're, noise. They're enjoying it. Yeah, make that. Stop making that noise. <laughs> just leave us to feed in peace. <laughs> it was. It was beautifully timed. It could not have been. I was just about to hit my top note, and it just said boring. <laughs> <laughs> 
Right, that is another week's video yes. over. To all our new subscribers, a big hello. Welcome along. Thank you so much for being here with us. And to all our commenters, B, you can do this one. Yes, uh, thank you very much for commenting. Uh, I read them every morning. Yeah, he and, does. And uh, make notes on them, and we'll do some more next week. We will. We'll do another comment roundup next yes. week. We're looking out for new tags. We can't give you think of a new tag every week. It would get very boring very fast. But we're looking out for new tags to do. But thank you to the people who did my tag. Yes, Abs yes absolutely. It was. It was. Well, that's another thing we ought to say. Thank you to the people who did Mr. Bean's tag. So we will love you and leave you. We'll be back again. Hopefully tomorrow, if all goes well. If um, if not, we'll see you again soon. So, take care of yourselves and enjoy your babies. Like this little one. <laughs> and let's, let's be, be good, good to, to each, each other. Bye-bye.